Pisces, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Pisces, I'm using True Emotional Oracle for your Oracle card reading. There is no gender in tarot. This is something that could have happened to you already, could be happening to you now, could happen to you in the future. I'm pulling on the sun sign, I'm pulling on the sun sign of Pisces, but energy flips, so check your other placements, and I could be pulling on your cross watcher energy as well. If this resonates, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I have thick skin, so if it doesn't resonate, you can tell me it doesn't resonate. Just come back and see me next week. Mirroring, you're mirroring each other. All right, Pisces. These readings are very short this week. We're just going very, very quickly. Five o'clock cups. Crying over the past at the river of sorrow. Just standing in your strength. You're going to walk with grace. Queen of Cups reversed. This is manipulative, not loving in... The love is not unconditional. This person is manipulative. You think they're your two of cups. So let me, we will go back over this. Could hear some news or gossip. Got a match. King and Queen of Cups reversed. They suit each other. What did I say? Mirroring? Did we say mirroring? Yes, we did. Page of Cups. A little bit of an apology. This reading could read itself. Alrighty, we have two manipulative people. Not using their intuition. Moody. Not nurturing. You're crying at the river of sorrow. You need inner strength to be able to move on. You thought that they were your two of cups. I'm going to say you were the queen of cups, Pisces. I'm calling you out on it. Maybe you turned this way, got a little bit bitter because of the relationship. I'm going to call you out. Every We, we, we go through things and scars are left. So if this is how you're feeling after a relationship, then you know what? Hey, it sucks, but this is how you're feeling. You thought they were your, you thought they were your two of cups. You could hear some you could hear some gossip about this person. He's still in your energy. He's hearing your reading. Coming in quick. Coming in quick. With a very small apology and a very small offer. You're gonna think the apology is fake, but there is an offer. Very small. You're going to be defensive. Your walls are up. What does he want? Apparently, he wants you. You have not done any healing. You're not over this. You're still in the reverse. You're not feeling abundant. You're not feeling like the Empress. There's no harvest coming from you. You're still not healed. Hanged man, kind of stagnant in a stasis. I don't think this is a good time for this dude to be coming back around. There is unfinished business, most definitely. You are still feeling bereft and left out in the cold. The good thing is, he's feeling all of these feelings too, because he's mirroring you. So when you speak on, I feel left out in the cold, he knows what you're feeling. I feel at a stalemate with you. He knows what you're feeling. I feel bereft that I have nothing. I feel cold and dark. He knows what you're feeling. 
So this is going to be something that can open up lines of communication. He's going to be defensive, a wounded warrior over here with his walls up, but he's taking the steps to make an apology and make an offer. So there is unfinished business. Listen to him, I guess. Pisces, this is your reading. Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. You don't have to make any decision, but not making a decision is a decision. Let me know if I hit my mark. Come back and see me next week.